Hello, and uh, welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits with you out in the garden, because it is so blooming warm. Uh, tonight, reviewing Bath Ales, and it's Gem Amber Ale, and I can't remember actually ever reviewing this, to be fair. Drank it many times, mind you, but not actually reviewed it. So it says here, a full-bodied, multi amber ale. Gem is as familiar as walking your favourite as walking into your favourite country pub, brewed with traditional malt and hops, a bittersweet and well-balanced beer. So yeah, four point eight percent. So this was a this was a in most of the big shops at one stage. Good evening, Craig. How are you? And um, it's nice to be doing a live review. I'm in the, I'm in the middle of filling the octob up, so it's a good evening. And uh, yeah, so I'm in the middle of filling the octob up. Wife's gone running. Because now she's allowed to again in groups. And I thought, well, I'll do a live review of business. Good evening, Steve. And Kevin as well. One, one should always uh, put good names to people. So I just found out tonight that um, another micro pub's opening in the, in the Snenton area of Nottingham. And if anybody ever comes to Nottingham, um, you've got Neon Raptor, which are based in Snenton. Put that away from my Chromebook. I don't want it spinning on my Chromebook. Lovely port, though. Um, Neon Raptor are based there. Liquid lights around the corner. You've got King Billy, top class pub. Good evening, Lee. Top class pub. Um, you've got a Castle Rock pub there that I can never remember the name of. And now another micro pub. Good evening, Goathead. How are you, mate, Dave? And there, there's another pub opening up there. So I'll tell you what for the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival and certainly for October for the Robin Hood Beer Festival, should it still go ahead, Snenton is is a really good um, location to go for a drink. It's turning into the craft beer zone of Nottingham. And uh, lots, you know, you, you've only got about a 200 yard walk and you've got, <laughs> you've got uh, multiple tap rooms, multiple um, pubs that do lots of different beers and you've got neon wrapped to liquid light unbelievable good evening chris so it's been a warm day 30 degrees jesus christ so out this weather so out when you sat abroad when you're at home it's a killer well i've just emptied that off the octub so i'm going to um just refilling it with hot water now the water's back on good evening edward how are we and um just refilling it with water, ready to go in about half seven. Yes, yeah, Nottingham, really exploding. Um, Black Iris, their brewery, their tap room, they're, they're redeveloping their tap room. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's good to see Nottingham really putting themselves on the market with, with all these tap rooms. Obviously, we've got a massive student population, but we've got a lot of people, older people, like my age, who like their beers, like decent beers as well. So it's nice to see. So, lovely amber pour, good carbonation on this. I'm not sure if the carbonation actually shows up. It always looks a bit more duller on, on the screen than it does when I play it back later. Problem is, you've got a week of this. So, putting a pool up is not a bad idea, to be fair. Um, yeah. I'm in a week of this. I've got water. I've got a mower. Go use a mower tomorrow, and the ride on's broke. So I'm pushing a mower, and it's a push mower all day long. And it's going to be a long day. A <laughs> long day. 10 days away from Friday. Can't it wait? Can't it wait till Sunday? Yeah, if it waits till Sunday, about. Five o'clock, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in. Oh no, it's next week. I go to Blackpool. Oh dear, oh dear. We don't want the rain. We do want some rain, but not ten days. That's for sure. Rain at night, always the best. So yeah, Bath Ales. They really used to have a big uh, amount of their beers in in Sainsbury's. Like, there used to be four in Sainsbury's at one stage. It's certainly gone down over the years. I'm not even sure if there's any now. And it's a sad thing with the emergence of craft beer that some traditional companies just lose their footing. Mm. 
Lovely. Can't fault you there. We've got aircon downstairs in the front room. You've never heard of Bath Ales? Wow. Strange, isn't it? You know, it, there was a time when Bath Ales were really, really prevalent. And obviously, Marston's can pay to have their stuff on the shelves. So Marston's can dictate how many of their beers are on the shelves in the big supermarkets. And they pay for the privilege as well. Oh, your aircon broke. Ouch. Yeah. I'm lucky because my son and my best mate are both aircon fitters. Good evening, Mike. So the sun's just decided to pop out again. Hopefully it will pop back in again. Yes. yes, it's rather warm in the sun with that sun beaming on you. Can I turn the camera and move out the chuffing sun? Well, a little bit at least. It does make for an interesting uh, beer review when you can only see it off yourself. You haven't heard of this? Wow. I'm sure Craig's heard of this. Good evening, Richard Rich. It is nice to be in the garden. The shed's too warm. Um, I need to sort out the fridge. And uh, You've seen it in Retro's? Ah, good on you. Damn. Yeah, I mean, Bath Ales, they, they, they used to have a good three or four. Yeah, cider, cold cider this weather, even fruity ciders, you know, it's not about the ABV. It's, that's better, it's gone in again. It's about the refreshment, isn't it, that you get from the cider. Uh, same with lagers. I mean, this isn't the weather for an imperial start, that's for sure. And uh, don't want bollockings anyway, so I'm keeping off the really strong stuff for the time being. But, uh, Trying to trying to separate my beer reviews. So I'm doing a beer review when I get home normally. Although tonight I didn't. So I'm, I'm doing that two together. No, mate. Not seen that one. Not seen that one before. Sainsbury's Taste Difference IPA. Yeah, it's a good traditional based IPA. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's made by Marston's or, 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 Ships, or Shepherd Neem. Shepherd Neem. Yeah, Shepherd Neem it's made by. I know I'm, I'm so far behind. I didn't do anything last week and we had some issues. So I, I've got bruise galore in the shed that I need to sort out. I've, I've got um, the um, pinter to put on to brew. So it's, it's crazy at the moment. They do have some good beers, Bath Ales do. Yeah, some good traditional beers. Um, I can't remember all the beers they have. I, I think I picked three up while I was in Southampton. Yeah, it's like a golden, it's like, Basically, it's a bit like spit, Spitfire Gold. <laughs> really. Good evening. Malty, twangy, um, bittersweet, well balanced beer. It doesn't really say how it's about it, really. It does, it tastes nice as well. Sometimes you don't want the strong stuff. Sometimes you just want something that's, I mean, that's me saying that as well. Um, somebody does like his strong beers, but sometimes it's just nice to have something just to refresh the palate, especially when you've been out in the sun all day. It's, um, I mean, it's been walloping today, that sun. I packed in the physical work at one o'clock and went watering, um, but I was mowing an edge trim until what, from seven in the morning till one o'clock. So, made for quite a long day. But uh, keep hacking away at the work. That's what you got to do, and in, in any job, you know, it's 30 degrees. It, it is warm. I mean, if it had been 38, then, oh dear, I might have looked for a job inside where the air con is. I mean, luckily, both workplaces have got air conditioning. So if, I, if, if there was a job inside, I'd have dived inside. It's definitely lager cider or a light beer weather. It's definitely not. It's definitely not weather for ten percent or teepers. I don't think so. Anyway, leaf and stuff get pissed up far too quick. <laughs> so, um, 
I was expecting to be uh, um, going and have a sample of my the Raggy's Golden Ale today, but um, I know that uh, Lincoln Green have had issues. Four out of their five pubs are down because of self-isolation. Same at my workplace. My workplace, they off the staff are off with self-isolation. One's off with neurovirus. So, um, yeah, it's nice. Nice enough beer, isn't it? Yeah, one's off with neurovirus, whatever that is. Um, I've never had it, so I don't know. So, uh, they're, only, they're only just delivering the beer today. So, for those of you out there who know your cask beers more than I do, I presume if they're delivering it today, you can't... Um, it'd be a few days before it goes on to you can use it because obviously if it's they have to lay it down don't they and uh, let it settle again the beer so i presume we're looking at wednesday thursday before anybody's trying any beer two to three days ah, i thought so yeah i remember him saying at the brewery but you know there's so much information i was struggling to keep up to date with all the information but uh yeah i'm, I'm good with that it's on cask yeah yeah I think it was about 2,300 litres. So I don't know how many litres you get in a cask. Is it 40, 50 litres, I presume? Depends, depends. I mean, in my fermentation buckets, I get 30 litres. And a cask's not much bigger than that. So 30 to 40? I don't know. So Wednesday or Thursday, I reckon. Or, or Friday even. So that'd be interesting. So, yeah, really easy drinking this. This um, sun's doing my bolting. That's why I like the bear room. You don't get sun in there. I'm ampering me from doing my reviews. So, yeah, easy drinking. Um, malty. No, I'm cooking dinner for the wife tonight. No, I'm doing it on the inside. So when she comes home, um, she's going to she's nip in the hot tub. We're both going to nip in the hot tub. Um, cool down a bit. Cool down in the hot tub. Eh? It doesn't sound right, does it? But um, And then I'm going to cook a nice fillet steak and uh, gratins and some mushrooms and uh, pepper sauce and, and that. And uh, cook a nice dinner. It is really, but... Uh, I do like a nice steak though, so it, it, in some ways it's like what I want. And then tomorrow night she's cooking pork, so pork loin steaks. So uh, that's better. Sun's gone again. Brilliant. So yeah, very easy drinking. Good range of beers from Baffles. You know, uh, if, if you do see them, they're well worth picking up. Asda had three down in Southampton. Where it's, and uh, Sainsbury's used to be obviously quite a big uh, place to get these beers from, but uh, like I say, uh, fashion is strange in the, in the beer, beer world. Um, I'm looking, and I've already put the feelers out tonight to do another a brewery day uh, where I go to the brewery and uh, actually go and mash some beer with them and make a new beer. And uh, just going to sort out a date, and this time I'm going to take my camera and actually do a full-on video of the day. So that'll be good. Good for the channel, good for the little brewery, and, uh, you know, good for no Nottingham, I suppose, really, because it's Nottingham slash Derby Brewery. So I call it Nottingham. It's got Nottingham postcode, yet it's stuck in Derbyshire. Hey, work that one out. Whoever invented postcodes needs to stick to the uh, boundary lines of the, of the counties. I mean, my brother, he lives in Nottinghamshire, top of the top of Nottinghamshire, and he's got a Doncaster postcode. Well, that one, that, it's, it's strange how postcodes are. It's um, it's like somebody years ago thought, ah, sod it. Yeah, you live in Nottinghamshire. We'll give you, we'll give you a Yorkshire postcode. And, uh, yeah, strange. So, really easy drinking this. 4.8%. Not really feeling the ABV on this at all. Um, going down nicely. Um, can't wait too much longer because me, uh, I can't leave the octub to. I don't want the octub can't overflow. Otherwise, I'm just wasting water. Um, 
and we had no water yesterday. The, cat, the seven chant cut all our water off on this where we live. Yeah, we all had um, bottles of water by the gate this morning. So uh, thank God, thank God the water's back on because uh, it's a shit that is getting water out of bottles. And then, you know, imagine someone going to the toilet, leaving that in the toilet. Ugh. Not what you want. And these days, we haven't got a hot water tank anymore. So you can't, like, you can't think, oh, I've got a bit of hot water, you know. Put that down the toilet. To over. No, you can't do that. So, have I killed this? I've just noticed it's on that stupid top chat instead of live chat. So... Oh, hey, oh, can't see now. No, it's not letting me do it. There we go. Live chat now. There we go. Still can't see now. No. So. I don't mind doing reviews outside, but the sun's an absolute pain in the backside, isn't it? It's like you, you do this, and I'm blinded by the sun, and I can't even see what's being wrote on the screen. I've got both the Imperial Honey Porter to sort out. I've got the Imperial Chocolate Stout to sort out. I've got a juice wine that I've not done. Yeah, I need some of it, Yeah, yeah. I'd... It's not me getting burnt. Although, to be fair, I just tan. I don't really get burns. Never have. Um, yeah, and I've got loads of stuff on the... on. The, I've got that pint to sort out. I'm about a week behind. So once I've sorted... Once I'm up and running, I think this week I'll get sorted out. Even tonight I'll get sorted out. But now we've got the hot tub again, it, it, you know, and uh, you get home from work and it's like, sod it. I'm going to have an hour in the hot tub. And then that kills your night. Before you know, it's nine o'clock and you're ready for going upstairs to watch TV and go to bed. So, amber pour, good carbonation on this. Malty nose on this. Malt, hint of sweetness with it, but very easy drinking. If you're for somebody who likes the likes of Spitfire and those sort of beers, you're going to love this. It's certainly down your avenue. You know, it's very easy drinking. And uh, for me, a good traditional uh, beer. Yeah. Very, very palatable. And uh, yeah, would I drink it again? Hell yes, because it's, it's, it's one of those, it's a true classic. You know, it's been around for donkey's years and very easy to drink. Out of five for me, yep, a good 4.2 out of five. And... Um, and these were established in 1995 as well, funnily enough. Right. Oh. No, it makes for a challenging day. Now, I work on my own, so um, if it gets too hot, I'll, I'll, I'll knock off and do... And I'll just... I'm trying to get the work done before it gets stupidly hot. Um, tomorrow, I've got absolutely no choice. I've got to break the back of the mowing, but I'm, I'm going to do it over two days. Just, just, and I've got to use a push mower. Unless I can get you, unless I can do a, a fix, a temporary fix on the big mower. I broke off, I've broke off two bloody welds. So you've got the mower deck and you've got these two black metal bars that go up. Somehow both, both broke off on one side. And so the weld's gone. So unless I can sprag something up underneath and then bolt through and uh, with a piece of wood or something, I don't think it'll work, but. When is the drive on? Back in working condition. Hmm? Oof. Well, I mean, he, he did say he's gonna. He might be looking to get a new deck for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a second, then, uh, and uh, the ride on, yeah, um, yeah. He's, he's on about getting a new deck for it, so hopefully he will. 
because even though I can do it by walking, you know, when it's this hot, bloody kills you. It's like something, it's like, is it 37 kilometers in a day? And uh, that's knackering, that is. It's nearly 20 flipping miles in one day walking to do the site, to do all the, the normal mowing. Good evening, Tad. How are we? It's wham. That sun's absolutely blazing at me. Bloody sun. You have a dry, you have a driven mower? Fair play. Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if we had another um a mower at the other site, the Newark site, which went by itself. Because then you just walk behind it and you get done what you get done. But um yeah, it is it is, it is, it is way too hot, isn't it? It's, uh, it's not the nicest weather, no. Although it's nice to be back doing a live, um, sat in the garden of a lager, fair play. And uh, I'm looking to do one live a night, and, um, and then probably a couple of uh, just pre-recorded jobbies each night. Um, certainly in the, in the summer months, uh, until we get less busy in the autumn and winter and then see how it goes from there. But I'm, I need to separate me, me beers so I'm not drinking free together because it's, it's been hammering me. And I think that's what's put me in bad books. So, um, yeah. yeah, drinking too much and uh, drinking free together is never good, is it? Especially within 20 minutes each. It's, uh, I don't know, I lasted all those months. And, uh, you know, drinking 16% um, Imperials uh, <laughs> and then doing two more quite strong beers. Yeah, never good. Never good. Right. Going to have to knock off and uh, go down and uh, I've checked me, um, check the October out. Thank you all for joining in and uh, we'll see you another day. Cheers, everyone.